Good evening everyone, uh, with you tonight's Paul here at Lasting Games uh, just to make an announcement about our next project, really super excited about this one and uh, it really came off the back of our retreat from Waterloo game which is now on YouTube uh, and our investigation into Lieutenant, sorry Corporal John Shaw uh, of the Household Brigade so between myself and Ian Crew, we have decided that we're looking at upscaling our collection um, to a black powder sized game uh, or more particularly a great game sized game so it, with us tonight just in the in front of the camera there you can actually see part of Ian's household brigade which actually fought at the great game last year uh, so when he sent his stuff over here for the purposes of the online games I decided that I would like to do the Union Brigade to match him. So currently just here, as you can see, we'll take a quick just sort of look. We have six full regiments of heavies in there, all of which are Ian's, and that is the Household Brigade. You'll also see a unit of his Scots Greys at the front. So uh, really, Ian will have uh, Pawns and Beasts, sorry, not Pawns and Beasts, Somersets, Household cavalry, and he already has them, and they're already done. So, that will be a unit of first lifeguards, a unit of second lifeguards. So, that's 12 man units for the cavalry. And then, sorry, two units. Just make sure I'm not misquoting this. It is three units of dragoon guards, a unit of first and second lifeguards, and then a unit of blues, the horse guards. Uh, which brings him to his six units. So six units of cavalry uh, and those are Ian's guys that he's looking after. So I'm in the progress of putting together uh, my lot. Uh, you can see the Scots Greys here just at the front. Uh, so I'm going to have a total of nine units of cavalry. So there's going to be three of the Scots Greys. There's going to be three of the Enniskilling and three of the uh, Dragoons. Uh, which are led by Ponsonby, uh, and I'm going to give you a look. Uh, I actually have Ponsonby and his ADCs uh, on a nice little vignette, which I'll give you a look at. I've also got a unit of Venice Skilling done, um, which I'll again give you a look at. And I have more boxes which have arrived today, and another five boxes arriving uh, in the next month to make up that entire brigade. So uh, I suppose take you a, a run through, guys, uh, what's on the table here at the moment, and then I'll talk a little bit more about how we're going to expand um, the Union and Household Brigades to actually incorporate the entire core, plus some of the support brigades. So you might actually notice, just guys, if I take a pan out on the camera, uh, just in front of you there, the half painted unit, is the Cameron Highlanders. Uh, and they fought uh, as part of Kemp's Brigade. Uh, which was actually at centre left at Waterloo and they were behind um, the cavalry after their charge. So uh, part of that uh, <laughs> brigade, that uh, 8th brigade, uh, led by Kemp, Sir James Kemp. So the 8th brigade was made up of the 28th and 32nd regiments of foot, the Cameron Highlanders, the 79th and then uh, the 1st Battalion, 95th Regiment of Rifles, which I also have and I will show you. So we're just going to run through uh, what we have, guys, and where we're going with this. Hey folks, just a highlight of Ian's Scots Greys there at first. And then we have the Horse Guards, the Blues, in behind. We pan around and get a look at the rest of his household brigade. So we have 1st and 2nd Lifeguards. I believe they have the Feathered Peak on their cap. Uh, the Grecian Helm, and then we're into the rest of the Brigade, which you can see here. Uh, we've also got on this side, you'll see in the middle, this is my iteration of uh, Colquhoun Grant, uh, who looked after uh, one of the supporting cavalry brigades, which we'll get to. But he's done, uh, these are Ian's 10th Hazards, again part of the, those uh, support brigades, which we'll go through. And the Queen's Lancers, the so 16th Lancers, light, uh, light cavalry, essentially light dragoons, in there. And if we sweep back across, we can see the Cameron Highlanders. And an interesting bit that I'm going to let Ian touch on is this is actually the start of my Royal Horse, Horse Artillery. So I'm just going to have 
four, I think, or five in total of the unlimbered, unlimbered guns and the ammunition cart there at the back from Perry. Uh, but Ian's actually planning on uh, and buying quite a substantial amount of the limbered guns uh, because we're also going to touch a little bit on the, the horse artillery as part of the project. And finally, guys, just out here on the table, we have my iteration of Iron Shield. And again, Iron Shield looked after, I believe he commanded the 3rd KGL Hussars on the day. Uh, his brigade was originally made up of that, plus a unit of late dragoons, but then they deployed with the 5th. Uh, this is just a Perry conversion with a Warlord head. Not too much detail that I can find on Iron Shield, so anybody out there that knows more than me, if you could let me know, it would be great to find out a little bit more about him. Now we're just going to bounce in with some of those support brigades. So there you have my full unit of 24 95th rifles. Beside them we have the vignette with Ponsonby. And his ADCs. Uh, De Lacey Evans, I believe. And then the Brigade Colonel. He was a Scots Grey. Can't just remember his name off the top of my head. Uh, jumping across, we can see part of Pax Brigade now, which was the... 8th, uh, the East Essex Regiment of Foot, again they are fully done. Uh, those guys are the Enniskillings, not pertinent for this part of the project. And then finally we have my Enniskillings, which is one of three units of those I'm going to do. And uh, then we have a generic sort of ADC in there. Uh, one of the real cool parts that we're planning for the project is actually to have all of the command represented. So as we've seen here, we've got Ponsonby and crew. Uh, we have Grant done. We have Iron Shilt converted up and ready to go. Um, and I have ordered some Perry models, which should be on the screen there now, to be, take the place of Van der Leur. Um, and then I'm actually drilling down. I'm going to put the sort of regimental commanders for each of the elements of the Union Brigade. So you've got Joseph Muter of the... In a skillings, I will have Hamilton of the Scots Greys, and then I believe it was Clinton or Clifton, um, one of the two names again off the top of my head, just can't think, uh, to look after the Dragoons themselves. And here we have our new arrivals guys, so three boxes of the Union Brigade, I have another five in the post, as we speak. Uh, a unit of British line. I'm going to be doing an unbox, build and review on each of these different kits as they arrive, including the different build options, because obviously you can build your greys, your dragoons and your inner skillings from this box. Uh, but they're there, ready to go. Uh, the reason for the Peninsular line infantry, um, I went for Peninsular uniform just for a bit of variation, because I already have a lot of the Waterloo uniform guys, but um, we're branching out, I suppose, and looking at sort of getting those support brigades in, so Kemp's Brigade uh, and Pack's 9th Brigade. So for the 9th Brigade footways, I'm going to need, among other Highlanders, uh, I've got the East Essex, I'm going to need the 1st Regiment of Foot, Royal Scots, 3rd Battalion, so I'll need to pick those up at some point. And really, I pretty much have a unit of everything from Kemp's Brigade, which is pretty cool. Um, I will have uh, the Cornwall 32nd, uh, the North Gloucestershire 28th, Cameron Highlanders and the 95th, so I'll have all that covered guys. guys and so just to wrap up then as well we're building the basis of this project around obviously the Union Brigade and Household Brigade and we're going to have a great game sized um, brigade of each of those uh, and that's taken from last year's order of battle so we're going to have 15 units between us uh, which will be the basis from where we build the entire core in um, terms of breaking the core up I'm going to look after Ponsonby obviously with the Union Brigade I'm going to also have Vandeleur, Grant and Ironshelt which is the fourth 5th and 7th, so I will have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4 Light Dragoon units, 2 British Hazard units and 1 KGL Hazard unit. 
that's not great game scale at that point guys but that is the starting point so we'll own a unit at least one unit from the entire core uh, and then we're going to build out from that Ian, I'm going to leave to take you through his bits. Uh, he's going to obviously have Somerset, the Royal Horse Artillery. He'll be taking Dornburg with the third, Vivian with the sixth. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to this, guys. We will be documenting the entire project on our YouTube channel, Dyson with History, on our Facebook page, Flags and Eagles. We also now have a cast box channel, which is Dyson with History. Uh, we will be putting out audio content for those of you who would like to listen in about what's going on with the project. But guys, we're absolutely stoked about this project. There will be unboxing videos, review videos, painting videos, uh, project logs. Uh, we're going to be looking at the different commanders, what models we're using to represent them, uh, and a whole host of content. So I hope you've enjoyed what you've watched, guys. Any questions, advice, tips, or anything else you'd like to ask, just drop us a line. Thanks, guys.